Hello everyone, my name is Isanuka Martin and today I am very proud to introduce you the new version of my Bisno add-on. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Alright, uh, first of all, I have put a lot of work to um, to improve the user experience and the biggest chance is that now uh, Bisno work hands in hands with uh, um, Blender internal particle system. Don't worry, I am going to show you how it works. Uh, with your model selected in the snow simulation tab here, the add-on asks for a new domain as usual. So click on the plus button in the domain tab to provide one. Um, here the, the change. Now it's ask for a particle system. Uh, don't worry, you go to particle tab and hit the plus button. And we are now using the Blender internal particle system to add snow on our model. Hit play. Uh, you can scale up the snow the particle emitter here to fit your model by the way you can still trick the particle system with the emitter selected from the uh, particles panel here when you're ready uh, select your model and go to the domain tab here you can notice that there is no more batch features I have completely removed this part now optimization will happen in the fly uh, next uh, you can give more resolution here and hit snow to start the simulation Now we have a first result that can be improved. For example, we can enable the animation to cache the simulation. We can give more particles to, to increase the snow build up. Our simulation is clipped here. So we need to scale up the domain like so and move up the emitter plane here and what else the order settings works as usual there is only one new parameter here the smooth contact i will explain it to you later and when you're ready hit snow again to simulate now i have my simulation ready for render so let me explain the smooth contact parameter in a new scene first uh, i am going to disable the settings and what will happen is that when the particles hit the surface, a snow build up will be generated in the, in the particles radius, the radius here. To show that, let me play the simulation. The particles generate a build up in the radius, but if I enable the smooth contact this will make the the build up grow following the surface normal and it will result to something like this
all right that's it guys i hope you like this new version feel free if you have uh, any question thank you very much and see you soon